Hi, it's John Flynn with Copley Advertising and today we're going to talk about the difference between Facebook advertising and mobile marketing. Now, as you know, I believe in an integrated ecosystem using both mobile marketing and Facebook advertising. Two of the most powerful, productive plat advertising platforms on the face of the planet. But as I warned you before in previous videos, the days of Facebook advertising being really, really cheap are over, over, over. And it's really hard to gauge because I'm not sure if it's just a fourth quarter bump because a lot of players have come into the market in the fourth quarter or if this is going to you know, be the way it is uh, first quarter next year. But I've dig some numbers up uh, because, you know, obviously I track everything and I want to know what's going on in the marketplace. And I came up with some pretty interesting stuff just to let you know what's happening out there um, and how it's changed my model a little bit. So I put my Walgreen glasses on. So cost per click. When you compare Facebook to mobile marketing, you know, obviously using target uh, ad sets. Um, Facebook is $2.25. Now, you know, people are gonna yell at me because the relevance level is probably too high and they can get it down to like four cents. But, you know, just, let's just, you know, bear with me on that. $2.25. Mobile marketing, targeted mobile marketing, 15 cents. CPM, Facebook, $14.66, a little high, try to be under 10, but let's just call it 14. CPM for mobile, $1.32. Click-through rate, Facebook, 0.65. Mobile, 0.88. Now, you know, it, this isn't like a year of data, so we take a little bit of grain of sauce. Bounce rate, Facebook, 98%. <laughs> Mobile, 84%. You know, as unscientific as some of this stuff is, it does clearly show a pattern that Facebook is dramatically raising its prices. Um, and with the uh, optimization pixel on retargeting um, in either any campaigns being raised from 25 to 50 um, conversions is you know another indication that Facebook is definitely seriously moving in one direction. So what does this mean? Well, uh, if you uh, are somehow 100% in the game of Facebook, you may wanna kinda figure it out. <laughs> But on the other hand, I think for the majority of people, you know, especially the clients that I work with, I don't, I, you know, your marketing budget for Facebook should be 10%, should be 10%, even under these circumstances, should be 10%. Um, you know, then I bring your, my ecosystem into you uh, for recruitment. Um, you know, Facebook does play a play in it, but you know, we watch things very carefully. So, you know, if I, if I have an impression file that's targeted, let's say from a concert, trade show, or baseball game, you know, that I think, you know, could really work on Facebook and I, um, you know, uh, kind of make a uh, look, you know, put it through a conversion, uh, put the mobile IDs through a uh, Facebook conversion at 30% and then turn that into a lookalike model, um, then uh, throw a couple ad sets and I'm gonna be a little careful, you know, where I'm going with it. I'll do $5 an ad set and let it run for a while, but I'm gonna kill things really fast, you know, if I don't see things coming through and stick with my retargeting uh, audience uh, and lean much heavier on that because, you know, I've got a lot of traffic and flood coming in from the mobile stuff. So, you know, the Facebook stuff is cool, but I'm not going to sit there and, uh, you know, watch my, my cost per clicks go up to some a reasonable level um, because of it, but I will keep it in the in the mix. So, in the sense of, um, you know, I don't want I don't want to give the impression here of like, oh, we can't do we can't do Facebook now. No, 
just the opposite. You need to get in now. You need to get in now before it gets worse because there's a learning curve of what's gonna happen. So you need to get in, figure your niche out, uh, and then you know drill down and be more effective that way. If you wait, it's just gonna be more expensive and you have to do it. You're gonna have to get into Facebook, okay? Before you die, <laughs> you're gonna have to run a major Facebook campaign, okay? I, I swear. <laughs> no. You know, and, and don't, you know, I, this is another thing that drives me crazy. I have corporate meetings, I sit down and it's like, have you done Facebook? Yes, we have, it doesn't work. Well, what do you mean it doesn't work? Well, Sally, who was like in a typing pool, tried it to do it for us and it failed. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm also not an auto mechanic. Like, so if you brought your car to me, I wouldn't know how to fix it. Doesn't mean auto mechanics are bad. It means I'm not the right guy to do it. So, you know, you can get your toe in the water. I mean, it's a, it's a kind of like a yin-yang thing where you want to put enough money down to see, uh, you know, I, I, I think if you did, you know, I, I, if you did like five ass, ad sets at $5 a day, you know, uh, ran those for a while and then got up to like two ad sets and then did that for $10 a day and ran those for, you know, a week and then, you know, maybe find one that's better than the other and bump that up to $15. I think, I think that initially will give you a good indication. And then if you do the math here, you're not talking about, you know, billions of dollars. So, um, interesting. I found those numbers very interesting the Facebook mobile interesting numbers. So, um, something to consider, you know, mobile on the other hand, you know, mobile's great, <laughs> mobile's cheap. Mobile's targeted, mobile has video in it. Uh, you, uh, you know, mobile sometimes, I, I, there's third party data I use, you know, that I buy, you know, for different demographics. I'm not a big third party data guy. I'd rather be a data guy and use the information I'm getting. But I did a campaign where I geofenced New York City. I figured, what the heck, I'll just geofence New York City. Um, I, I needed some stuff and then, you know, I got like a 0.47, which is pretty, darn good for a large city and I did some optimization and it came out pretty well. And then I dragged the cost for uh, the CPM cost down pretty down there and I was still holding the click through rate. So, you know, if you know what you're doing, you know, it reminds me of the old girl Google AdWords days mobile in a way that, you know, if you know what you're doing, um, there's a lot of room uh, to, to move around and be effective. So anyway, John Flynn, Copley Advertising, give me one month. One month, and I'll fix it.